Good morning, everybody. It is the week of August the 5th, 2024. We are at the Cub. We starting at the Cub as usual. It's going to be a hot week. I'm telling you, it's hot today. It's been hot the last several days. Here's our little grow tub we're working on. We've got some pipe down in there. A grow bag. Now, I've got to get my fitting to go on the side. Got to make a trip to the store. Uh, put the fill pipe. I'm going to try to get two of them done up. Uh, I got myself situated to do 24 of these. Put them on pallets. Uh, and see what we might can grow. Maybe get us a fall garden going. I'm going to experiment. You know, really with some uh, herbs. And, and I really, really like to grow some beans. And a few other things just... Maybe, but I don't need any squash, but I wouldn't mind growing a few. Just, you know, maybe get four plants growing out of one or two of the tubs just to, just to see how it does. I don't know. Just, uh, he likes one big experiment. And, uh, and every year we try different things and, and uh, go to a little different direction and, and try to find something that works. I look at it a couple different ways. You know, I enjoy growing, I enjoy gardening. You know, I like, like my little old tiller there, like my cub. I like the Kubota, you know, like working in the shop. Uh, but, you know, the sad side of it is, I realize I'm just getting older. And, you know, what I enjoy doing, uh, is a lot more difficult at times. Uh, you know, I've been laying that old hardwood floor. I tell you right now, that's been rough. I, I, I took yesterday off. One reason it was Sunday, but but uh, I just needed to rest. I was sore and hurting. I mean, I I, I done I done used some muscles laying that hardwood floor that I hadn't used in a long time. But I've, uh, I've kind of got feeling a little bit better. Got the floor going the right direction. That's going to be one of her projects. I'm going to try to get the floor laid and the trim in place. And, and then I'm going to try to come down there and get a few of these, uh, try to get at least one pallet growing something. And so that's kind of my goal, I guess you'd say, for this week. Um, and when I say that, it really, what it really means is I'm going to get the wood down and the trim down and I'm pulling off that project. I'm leaving a project unfinished. Lord have mercy. I have enough unfinished projects around here. But that's just me. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I wish I was one of those overachievers that just, you know, would finish stuff down to the very last detail. Told my wife one day she really needed two husbands, one of them to start a project, one of them to finish a project, because I'm I'm the greatest at starting stuff and getting it getting it about 90% complete and then going to something else. But I'm actually kind of looking forward to, you know, when we cool off a little bit. Hey, I'm wanting to put some lipstick on this old cub right here. I tell you. I, I, it's a good tractor. I, I like it. It's pretty tight all the way around. Runs like a sewing machine. I just love to put a little lipstick on her. Uh, old buggy, if I'd get with it, I could actually ride a trailer to this fall. Uh, and uh, there's a couple of rides that uh, happened in the fall I just love to be a part of. Just, just go out there and really, this buggy gets me out in the woods where I can watch the big boys play. This buggy ain't nothing. I mean, it's just a, a cheap toy compared to what's out there nowadays. I mean, it's, these buggies are, these buggies out there in the woods now, they hunt $35,000, $40,000 buggies. And I'm like, Lord, have mercy. And where do folks just get the, the disposable income just to throw at them? But they do. 
I mean, you know, I mean, I, I do. I was, so there's somebody out there making some serious good money. But anyways, that's just my little toy. I enjoy it. Hey, you know, I, 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 if I had a $140,000 buggy sitting there, I'd feel so guilty about it. I wouldn't know how to act. It'd be like, Lord of mercy, what have I done? But this is just a leaf looker. That's all it is. Hey, it's good to ride around on the property. It's, there's a few little old ORV parks right here. I show up and just get out there and ride around and go just about anywhere I want to go. Uh, but there are just some places I don't want to go. Uh, well, all right, guys, let me get busy and we'll catch you on the next one. Master, see it. See it. You don't feel like sitting, do you? Well, anyway, there's those skinned up foot. From here down, there's nothing but raw meat. And he can't bend it. It don't have no flex in it. You know, whereas this in here, you know, I mean, it'll, it'll bend on back far as you want it to go. But he's a survivor. What can we say about old Buster? He's a star of the show, isn't he? All right, that's three or four days of hard work right there for this old man. We got it done. Next thing is to get the base trim in. Some finished paint work, such as that. Put the cord around down. Uh, got to put the window sill in, find a shade for that over there. Still got to get a light fixture for it. Uh, but yeah, we're coming on along, making progress. But with that said, I've kind of gotten so far behind with everything else that I'll probably spend the next two days on more cleaning up the yard and the field and the walking area and all that kind of stuff. Well, we'll just keep on going. Catch you on the next one. All right, got all my equipment moved over here. One day last week, had the forks on the tractors and well, let's, I relocated a couple of them on pallets and uh, Moved them over here from this tree line over yonder. I like to move stuff around from time to time. Uh, I'm always looking for the ideal place to store them. And I may, may end up cleaning this area up again, putting them back down there. And that's the area I kind of zigzagged in and out of the other day with a bush hog. And when winter gets here, I'll put the backhoe back on there. You know, I'll probably take down that low skinny pine sitting over there and, you know, a couple of these little trees over here and thin this area out a little bit. Uh, got a bunch of stuff over there I need to haul to the landfill. Old dishwasher and couch. Took my recliner outside, got it out of shop. I'm, that was good while I had that knee replacement. It kind of gave me a place to go down to the shop, get out of the house, and sit down and relax. Wasn't much I could do, but I tell you what, after, a, you know, I think the wife needed me out of the house as much as I needed to be out of the house. Uh, well, maybe I was getting on her nerves, I don't know. But you know how life goes. Well, all right, let's get busy. And uh, we'll keep on moving forward. Uh, we got those skag in here. Notice the last time I cut, really the last several times I cut, it wasn't really doing a great job of cleaning up. So, let me see if I can put a new set of blades on this thing. Three blades sharp, been sitting on the shelf for a while. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'd say that's a wore out blade. I'd say them old blades right there. I'm about ready for a scrap barrel. Now to shoot a little grease in everything. But the first thing I realized when I picked up this grease gun, it has no weight to it. Tells me it's empty. So let me go get a new uh, tube of grease and put in. This um, that famous world famous tractor supply of grease. Now if you don't take this thing off the end, you won't ever run out. Because it won't ever come out. At least that's what somebody told me. Now, I think the last time I put a tube in this thing, I sit here and poo it, poo it, poo it. Then I figure out why I wasn't getting no grease out of it. And then I, finally, I took it apart to see why. Yeah. Usually, I'll loosen off when it's just a fuzz. Kind of let the air ease off down there. There you go. Let the air ease out of there and that pushes the grease on the front. Then you got grease coming out. Alright guys. Now I done wiped off the heads of these grease fittings off. There you go, three or four shots. Now the next thing you need to do is pick up that rag and wipe your face with it. Oh Lord, I've done that too. Hmm. It's brutally hot down here. My face is dripping with sweat. I'm going to mop it off just a little bit. Alright. I got one grease fit right there. It broke off. So I got to replace it. There's an old extractor kit that I've had for a it's kind of interesting to me there's like a story there because you know that's probably at least three different extractor kits hey sometimes i'll just start with a little old bit of chisel and see if i can't catch the ear of it and get it turning you know i got these square ones i got the round ones i got a socket set with those on the end of it i got a reverse drill bit set over there 
all kinds of stuff. But, you know, that's all I've really done all my life. So you mess around and acquire a lot of tools. I'm working on. Everything in the world. This should come out pretty easy. There you go, ain't nothing to it. And just catch it on the side of something. Bump it. Throw it back in there. Alright, let me go find the grease. Alright, let's mow grass. Between the rain and the heat, man, it has grown up around here. All right, just a quick summary where we are on this floor. We got our trim down, uh, we got our seal in, uh, of course, the floor's down. We're moving along pretty good. I mean, there's a few little things we still got to do. I'm going to buy me some she mold to put down against the floor i've got to of course do a lot of painting on the trim and such as that and you know filling a bunch of nail holes in and, uh, a lot of details you know devil's in the details it's a lot of work the details are uh, but anyways i'm kind of at a stopping point right now i'm gonna stop work on something else for a while go back to the pontoon boat try to get it ready to go to the water I think I'm going to work on a little old box out in front of the porch some. And this, just a few little projects. This in here is has kind of reached a good little spot right here for me. I'm going to turn this into my office and a yeah, spare bedroom and, uh, for uh, grandbabies and they come over and stay and such as that. And then, of course, behind this door is a bathroom that needs finished. And over here behind this door is a pantry that needs that needs finished so there's still plenty of work to do around here but hey just do it a little bit at a time and and on one of these days we'll get done with it and so i'm gonna kind of wind this video up right here get busy on uh just keep on moving forward hey just want to thank everybody for watching and be a part of this adventure i call life and we'll catch you on the next one